So here it is, the Awake magazine. Will we ever feel safe and secure? I'm sure there's a lot of people are asking that question. And there's a picture on the inside cover. It shows a picture. It could come from Ukraine. It can come from Gaza or any war-torn area in, in the world. And this magazine is produced in over 78 million copies in over 200 languages. And the, it, it starts here. It's threats to our safety and security. It says this generation enjoys unprecedented technical, scientific and financial resources. And yet this is perhaps the first generation to take the world to the brink of political, economic and environmental systems breakdown. It's true, isn't it? And I'm sure you're really worried about this. Have you been affected by cybercrime, financial inequality, conflict and persecution, threats to the environment? If you have, this is the magazine for you and it's very easy to use. All you have to do is download it. Getting to the root of our problems. That's a lovely section there. And then you've got moral education and why education in our schools for our youngsters is so important. We've then got the idea of where would we find peace? And it considers a comment by Albert Einstein who said that uh, to create the necessary conditions for international security by laying the foundations for a real world government. Many people talk about a real world government, but we won't need one that's united. But the question is, who should be the king? So he says, under God's kingdom, peace will abound. God's kingdom, of course, is ruled by Christ. God himself anoints his son to rule. That's why his son asked us to pray for his kingdom to come on earth as in heaven. Soon, the long-awaited kingdom of God, a world government set up by God, will bring global peace and harmony to the earth. Peace will abound, as promised in Psalm 72, 7. But when will this kingdom take charge? When will it come? He said that there would be a number of striking events that would signal uh, the a composite sign that would indicate this would include international warfare, famine, disease, earthquakes, increase of lawlessness. There would be lovers of people who would be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, unthankful, disloyal, not open to any agreement, uh, puffed up with pride and lovers of pleasures rather than lovers of God. Does that sound familiar to you? So the question is, how will this kingdom take control? This is very important. It says the kingdom will not operate through or be represented by the political leaders of the present world. So President Biden, President Putin and the other leaders across the world, it will not operate through them. In fact, the response by the political leaders is in an attempt to cling to power, they will foolishly defy rule by God's kingdom. God's kingdom will need to destroy the political kingdoms that want to continue dominating mankind. This final conflict, global conflict, is called Armageddon. But it says, all who willingly submit to God's kingdom, that's under Christ, will be preserved alive through this Armageddon into a peaceful new world. What is this new world like? We'll take a look at that picture. And that's the hope that Jehovah's Witnesses hold out for themselves and for those who listen to their preaching message. OK, they do uh, knock on your door when it's not convenient, but they're trying to say, why don't you put your vote in a spiritual vote for rulership by Christ? So much better to have a world government by him. And remember, when he was on earth, what was he able to do? Well, it says here, there's a picture of him. And who did he help in the first century? It was the ordinary, common, downtrodden people. When Jesus was on earth, he gave us a preview of what he would do as king of God's kingdom. He, would, he healed the sick and the disabled. He fed many thousands. He even controlled the national, natural elements. He calmed a storm by words and he walked on water, didn't he? So imagine someone like that. So the question for you is... 
how do we know that the kingdom promises, the Bible's promises about the kingdom are true? Well, we encourage you to investigate because our creator loves us. So millions of Jehovah's Witnesses are knocking on your door because they're convinced that God loves us. He has a name, Jehovah. He has promised, he's provided answers to those questions and many others in the Bible. To find help with those answers, go to our website, jw.org, which is dedicated to Bible education. And it's available in over 1,000 languages and dialects across the world. And there's the QR code. So it's a very nice magazine and there's no charge, but you can download this onto your phone or device and read it yourself. Thank you very much and take care, everybody.